Hi everybody, I'm not going to um, film her last video and go through it all, it's just yummy yummy and this is nice and the past is the past and that's it, she rambled on for about 20 minutes but I thought it um, would be interesting to look at this picture of her which I grasped from the farms earlier today and if you look at Chantal in this picture, look closely, she must weigh as much as one of those camels. You know, the camels that she likes to pet, um, even though they could have all sorts of things wrong with them, that she'll then go back to the apartment and pass on to Howie and Julia. Not that she cares about that. So I just thought it was interesting to see, um, you know, the, the actual amount, how big she is, all carried at the front. So how, I've got this right, how, um, how can she even stand? I mean, a back's like that, the front's pulling her forward. She's about five foot, she's probably under five foot because the weight will have compressed her down, as I keep saying. So I, I reckon she's probably about four foot ten. Um, and... over 450 pounds so you know she's over 300 pounds overweight well over 300 pounds but her height um a bone structure medium maybe so for her height um i would say her weight should probably be no more than about 100 and 12 pounds, 120 at a push. I don't know how she can carry herself. I mean, I, I've gone down to, I'm about 92 pounds. 90, sorry, I've got Harriet's hair. 92, although I have been eating. So I might put a little bit on. Um, but how she can carry that mass around with her. So what I wanted to say, I don't want to inflict her videos on you. You know, um, other reaction channels will be showing them and reacting to them. I just want to say what's in my head about her, about Udi Beauty. Chantal Sarrow, Chantal Al Rafe, as she once named herself, um, and now Mariam. Every day, Mariam. Well, are you going to do a day in the life of Mariam, Chantal? You know, it reminds me of a, a woman with this split personality. You can't possibly dissociate your Mariam persona from the Chantal persona. The Chantal persona that used to come on here half naked. Um, all these bodily noises being emitted being a glutton, boasting about how many men you had gone through in a day about married men. And you're now saying none of that counts because I'm born anew. So if you're saying that, as you're saying the words, each word coming out of your mouth is history. 
Therefore, those words don't count either, based on your perspective. It's all nonsense. Two weeks ago, three weeks ago, you were raging about how you didn't believe in God. You didn't believe in Allah because of what Salah had done by being unfaithful. And I'll come to him in a minute. Um, that you didn't believe in anything and you didn't even know why you were wearing a hijab. Well, let me tell you why. Listen to Auntie Anne. You're wearing a hijab for the simple fact that your whole identity is wrapped up in whatever man you happen to be with at that time. At the moment, it's the crap lord in Kuwait, you know, the man who wants to defecate on Christian women. I apologise for people who are just catching this and don't really know what's going on. But this is a man who cheated on his wife when she'd gone back to Canada um, because she was on a visa run. Uh, she was going back also to see if she could get weight loss surgery. So as soon as she was out of sight, she was out of mind. He's got control of all her money in Kuwait. He's a very happy little sand boy. Immediately, he was on the internet again, just scrolling for different women and he found one, or she found him. And she was an ex-member of Foodie Beauty's channel, Kai Bella. And she played him like a fiddle. She wanted to prove just what he was about. And she did. She managed to. And he said that, as I've just said, he wanted to defecate on Christian women. He wanted to defecate on the cross, on the crucifix. He wanted, well, I won't go into the rest of what he wanted to do. I think you get the juice. And um, he wanted to make his slave lick the lavatories with her tongue to clean them. And he made it fully clear what he thinks of Western women. Let me tell you, Salah, what I think of you. You're a disgusting, degenerate, perverted piece of garbage. You have shamed yourself. You have shamed your family, your sister, your brothers. You have shamed your father. You have defecated, if you like. on the last resting place of your mother. That is what you've done. As for Chantal, Mariam, you, everything you touch turns to tatters and dust, everything. Every life you come into contact with you tarnish. You have no self sense of self worth, no sense of identity. You've got no self respect. To go running back to a man who had quite openly admitted on the internet what he'd done. And do you think that's gonna change overnight? Do you think he 
can automatically, like you, say, it's in the past, I'm a new person today. No, he can't. And actually, he looks what he is. He looks like a shitlord. And as for you, you're at least 400 and if you do, getting on for £500. As I said, it should be no more than about £110, £112. You are four times the size, at least four times the size of what you should be. How many of the seven deadly sins are wrapped up in your gargantuan frame. Certainly gluttony, sloth, envy, and jealousy. What else is there? I'll guarantee that every one of the seven deadly, most heinous sins are wrapped up in your character to a lesser or fuller degree. So before you go on about God forgiving you, and before you go on about Allah forgiving you, before you go on about you're a new person today, you need to look inside yourself and truly repent. And if you really do want to change, Stop being a glutton on camera. That would be a start, wouldn't it? Stop being a glutton on camera and attempting to influence young people who think they can make coin, as you did, simply by eating copious amounts of food. There was one 17-year-old TikToker who lost her life because she was following the likes of you disgust me and by the way booty marianne chantal still waiting for my apology for what you attempted to do to my family for all the emails that were traced back to you lot in kuwait yes we know it was you Do you think the authorities here haven't got or can't liaise with authorities there to find out what's going on? Your name is blackened and it's only a matter of time. Tick tock goes the clock. What's going to get you first? Salah, his family, an honour. unaliving your health issues maybe where you are totally incapacitated you're almost bedridden now what's going to get you first or will it be that Allah looks and thinks I've had enough of these people taken my name in vain.